Hello once again. We've already shown you the installation, basic, and advanced operations with the LDG Electronics AT100 Pro Tuner. In this final video in the series, we look at using the AT100 Pro with ICOM and Yaesu radios when using the provided ICOM or Yaesu radio interface cables. First, let's look at using the included ICOM radio interface cable. The ICOM interface cable has a 4-pin connector on the radio end of the cable and splits out into a DC power connector and a control connector on the tuner end of the cable. When using the ICOM interface cable, the AT100 Pro is powered directly from the ICOM radio. To install the ICOM interface cable, first turn off the radio. Plug the 4-pin connector into the tuner jack on the back of the radio. Next, plug the DC power connector into the jack marked 12V DC on the rear of the tuner. Plug the 8th inch stereo plug into the jack marked radio. If you're using an IC718, you'll need to set it for AH4 operation. With the interface cable installed, tuning is greatly simplified. With the ICOM interface, two options are available for tuning. The first is to press and hold the tuner call button on the radio for one second to begin tuning. The radio automatically transmits a carrier for as long as is required to complete the tuning cycle. Notice that the tune LED on the radio lights up when a successful tune is complete. To bypass the tuner, press the tuner call button momentarily. The other option is to use the tune button on the AT100 Pro. Press the tune button for one second to initiate a memory tuning sequence. The control cable tells the radio to transmit a tuning carrier for the duration of the tuning cycle. Holding the tune button for more than two and a half seconds will force a full tuning cycle. Pressing tune momentarily will toggle bypass. The Yaesu interface cable is a short 8th inch cable with a red connector on the radio end and a black connector on the tuner end. This cable works with FT857 and 897 radios. To install the cable, first turn off the radio. Plug the red radio end of the cable into the ACC jack on the rear of the radio. Plug the black tuner end of the cable into the jack marked radio on the rear of the AT100 Pro. To tune using the Yaesu interface cable, press the tune button on the AT100 Pro for one second to initiate a memory tuning sequence. The cable tells the radio to transmit a tuning carrier until the tuning cycle is complete. Holding the tune button for more than two and a half seconds will force a full tuning cycle. Pressing tune momentarily will toggle bypass. This concludes the AT100 Pro video instruction series. Please be sure to read your entire printed AT100 Pro user manual to get the most out of your new AT100 Pro automatic antenna tuner.